Hey friends, I'm the super brave teacher, Joe Gorlowski, who happens to be getting over being sick. Yep, friends, this past week I had to take a sick day because I was so sick and I'm getting there. But before we get there, make sure to like this channel, share this channel, do whatever you do to help me tip Google and YouTube in a radically positive and accepting way for all LGBTQ plus teachers and students. Each time you do, it shifts the narrative and says that we matter and that we are awesome and important. Thank you. So friends, I was going to do this whole video on what's the difference between self-care and true actual self-care. But I think it's kind of ironic that I was going to do a video on self-care when myself this past week had to take a sick day because I was just so sick and I'm, you can tell I'm still getting over it. Friends, this is important. I think our body is our bodies are constantly sending us signals and signs that say, hey, listen to me, I'm trying to tell you something. And especially at this time of year, especially at this, during this busy holiday season, and if you're a teacher like me, you know this is crazy time, crazy time. The volume's turning up. If the kids are happy, they're extra happy. If they're sad, they're extra sad. It is just intense time right now in the classroom. But if you're like me, you haven't been listening to your body. I, I pride myself in being the best, healthiest teacher I know. And even me, I was getting sick and I wasn't listening to my body. I was like, you know what? I'm gonna keep pushing through. I'm gonna keep pushing through. I'm gonna keep pushing through. It's not gonna hit me. You know, I see all these teachers taking sick days. No, I'll be fine. Up, oh, all these kids are coughing around me, sneezing on me, and then giving me high fives. I'm gonna be fine. And you know what? I'm not fine, or I wasn't fine, and that's okay. Because I think something that I do really well is do things, do things that are self-care things. So yep, every day, healthy breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Every day, do some type of physical movement. Try to do my best to get some great sleep every night. Limit myself around technology. All this stuff that is good, healthy practices that if you looked at my day on paper, you would say, wow, this guy is living a really healthy life. And I'd be like, thank you, I am, yeah. But so much of it is also giving ourselves the permission, the permission to slow down and say, guess what? It's going to be okay. I'm gonna be okay. And yes, I do amazing, important things. I am an important piece to many people's lives and I'm an important piece to my life and I need to take care of myself too. Because guess what happened when I took a sick day this past week? Nothing. The kids were just fine. They did great. They probably enjoyed a break from this guy. Guess what happened in my personal life when I had to take a sick day? Nothing. In fact, my husband was happy for me. He was like, this is great seeing you slow down. And I think as much as I dread winter, it's important to see, as I'm seeing the snowfall right by my eyes, it's important to know that life has seasons, and not just summer, fall, winter, spring, the seasons, the seasons, summer, fall, winter, spring, kindergarten teacher, but it has emotional seasons, it has mental seasons, it has physical seasons, and it's okay to slow down. Because I'm slowing down right now, so that later I can speed up when I have to, and that's Okay. I want to finish with an awesome Byron Katie quote that I was inspired hearing a friend post on Facebook just the other day. It said something like this, things don't happen to you, things happen for you. And I think, I'll repeat it, things don't happen to you, things happen for you. And it's really hard to be like, wait, this sickness or me being sick happened for me? Yep, it did, so that I could slow down, so that I could breathe, so that I could take a day off of school and nap all day and take care of myself. That happened for me. And even think of all the craziness that's coming your way with the holidays and all that stuff. There's gonna be a lot of stuff that appears to be happening to you. Like, why did you just do that to me? Or why did that have to, huh, huh? No, it's happening for you. It's teaching you, maybe you need a little more self-compassion. Maybe you need to not just self-care, 
on paper, but self-care right here. And these things are happening for you to teach you lessons. So I'm gonna ask you, what's happening to you right now that you know if you really inquire with yourself, use some inquiry with yourself, it's happening for you to teach you something, to open something awesome inside of you. So right now I know that this sickness is happening for me so that I realize that I'm just a piece of the puzzle and I'm not the most important thing to all people. <sighs> and that it's okay to give myself permission to rest, to have fun, and to enjoy this time of year instead of just checking it off, check, 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 all these things off the list of things that have to get done. So friends, thank you for watching this video. I'm gonna go get some more rest because I'm gonna listen to my own advice. You are appreciated, you are loved, you are enough, and I don't just say those things, you are. There's no, there's nothing that you have to do, say, or be to be enough, loved, and sufficient. You already are. And I'm gonna say the same thing to you, sick Joel. You are awesome, you are enough. Don't get overwhelmed this time of year. Just do you, because you being you is enough. Bye, friends.